The first Hunger Games film introduces the world of Pan Am, where the wealthy capital, led by President Coriolanus Snow, rules over the nation's 12 districts. As punishment for a failed revolt against the capital decades prior, the Hunger Games were created. Each year, one male and one female teenage tribute from each district are selected to compete in a televised fight to the death, in which only one tribute would be left as the sole survivor. The random drawing in District 12 selects Baker's son Peta Malark and the 12-year-old Primrose Everdeen as tributes. Not wanting her younger sister to risk her life in the games, expert hunter Katniss Everdeen volunteers to take Prim's place. And so Katniss and Peta are escorted to the capital, leaving behind their friends and family, including Katniss's childhood best friend and would-be love, Gail Hawthorne. In the capital, Katniss and Peta meet their chaperone Effie, their stylist Cinna, and mentor Hamish Abernathy, the only living winner from District 12. As Katniss and Peta train for the games, they are encouraged by Hamish to play to the media, as viewers of The Hunger Games can sponsor tributes with potentially life-saving advantages. In an interview with Hunger Games commentator Caesar Flickerman, Peta publicly confesses his love for Katniss, which the audience swoons over. Although Katniss agrees to go along with the fake storyline, Peta secretly confesses that his feelings for her are real. As the 74th Hunger Games begin, Katniss and Peta are forced to work together to survive attacks from the other players. As Peta uses his skills to hide out from the other more violent tributes, Katniss befriends a young girl from District 11 named Rue. When Rue is killed, Katniss is devastated and the inhabitants of District 11 begin to riot. As the game comes down to the final three tributes, Katniss, Peta, and the villainous Kato, the game master Seneca Crane unleashes a pack of beasts into the arena to expedite the finale. Katniss and Peta work together to defeat and kill Kato, leaving them as the final tributes standing. In an act of defiance, Katniss and Peta choose to sacrifice themselves instead of killing killing each other, forcing Crane to allow two victors for the first time in Hunger Games history. Hamish warns Katniss that she has made enemies in the capital for her defiance, while President Snow kills Crane for his failure to keep the game under control. In Catching Fire, the victorious Katniss and Peta become overnight celebrities, but are haunted by their experiences in the games. After returning home to District 12, President Snow threatens Katniss and Peta to continue their fake romance for the public, or else everyone in District 12 would suffer the consequences, in the hopes that their love would quell any further rebellion. Katniss and Peta publicly announce their engagement, driving the reunited Katniss and Gale further apart. As the capital's peacekeepers grow more violent in their actions to quell the rising rebellion, Katniss, Peta, and Hamish use their status as victors to stand against President Snow's oppression. Furious by their actions, President Snow plots to eliminate as many victors as possible, announcing that the 75th Hunger Games would be comprised of all former winners. As Katniss and Peta are forced to compete once again, they enact very different public strategies, with Peta claiming that he and Katniss are married and expecting a child, while Katniss wears a dress that resembles a Mockingjay, which becomes a symbol for the rebellion. As Katniss and Peta enter the games, Katniss's stylist Cinna is killed for creating her Mockingjay dress. Inside the games, Katniss and Peta align with fellow tributes Finnick, Mags, Beatty, Wyrus, and Joanna, facing off against not only the other tributes, but a series of deadly hazards that are released at regular intervals. Throughout the games, Mags and Wyrus are killed, and Katniss begins to suspect that Finnick is a traitor. Finnick implores Katniss to remember their true enemy, while Joanna shockingly cuts Katniss's game tracker out of her arm. As a lightning hazard engulfs the area, Katniss attaches a wire to an arrow and shoots it into the arena's force field, using the lightning to disrupt the shields. Katniss is knocked unconscious by the lightning, but an aircraft enters the arena to rescue her. Katniss discovers that the new game master Plutarch Heavensby was actually a rebel, working with many of the tributes, including Finnick and Joanna, to keep Katniss safe and publicly stoke the rebellion. The group head to the remains of the former District 13, which will serve as the rebellion's headquarters, 
Walkers, while Hamish informs Katniss that Peeta and Joanna have been captured by the Capitol. In Mockingjay, Gail Hawthorne and Katniss's mother and sister arrive in District 13, warning Katniss that President Snow bombed their home in District 12 due to the rebellion. The rebel's leader, Alma Coyne, tasks Katniss with becoming the Mockingjay, the inspirational figurehead of the rebellion. As Katniss joins her allies in planning to take down the Capitol, President Snow forces the captured PETA to publicly disavow the rebels and help keep the other districts in line. Katniss leads a team including her childhood friend Gail, her former capital chaperone Effie, Coyne's right-hand man Boggs, and documentarian Cressida to visit various districts and film propaganda footage. The footage from the front lines of the rebellion inspires more districts to join the fight, infuriating President Snow, leading to him ordering more drastic retribution. As PETA is interviewed by Caesar Flickerman in a nationally televised event, BT hacks into the broadcast to allow Katniss to spread the message of the rebellion. Inspired by the sight of his love, PETA breaks the Capitol's hold on him to warn everyone that District 13 would soon be under attack. Coin evacuates her people just in time, but Katniss is left devastated knowing that any time she successfully spoke out against the capital, Snow would brutally torture PETA. To remedy this, Coin orchestrates the rescue of PETA, Joanna, and many other captives of the capital, including Finnick's wife, Annie. As Finnick and Katniss distract Snow, Gale leads a team to rescue the captives. Unfortunately, PETA's brain has been hijacked by the capital, brainwashing him into wanting to kill Katniss. As the rebels attempt to cure PETA's corrupted mind, Coin orchestrates an all-out assault on the capital. Boggs leads a team to follow the invasion to document the assault and further rally the rebelling districts. Boggs's team includes Katniss, Gale, Finnick, Cressida, and her documentary crew, several rebel soldiers, and the still-recovering PETA. Boggs warns Katniss that the rebel leader Coin views Katniss as a threat to her authority, and may have set up this mission to have Katniss killed. As the squad journey through the city, they are forced to contend with deadly traps and an army of pursuing peacekeepers. When Boggs is killed by a mine, Katniss assumes leadership of the squad and leads them on a mission to assassinate President Snow. Snow releases a pack of mutated beasts to hunt down the squad, resulting in the deaths of several of their members. Finnick then sacrifices himself to allow the others to escape. Realizing the rebel army is closing in on him, President Snow invites refugees from the capital to take shelter in his mansion, secretly and selfishly intending to use them all as human shields. As the refugees arrive at Snow's mansion, Katniss and Gale infiltrate them. The rebel army arrives to attack the mansion, engaging in a firefight with Snow's peacekeepers that results in many innocent refugees being killed. The capital then drops bombs on the crowd, killing innocent refugees and rebels alike, including Katniss's young sister Prim. Katniss wakes up from the chaos to find her old friend Hamish, who informs her that the rebels had won and that President Snow was now in custody. While Katniss confronts the former president, Snow claims that he wasn't responsible for the bombings, and that the attack had been orchestrated by Coin to frame him and allow for the rebels to win. A remorseful Gale confirms Snow Snow's words, confessing to having been involved in Coin's plan. At the televised execution of Snow, broadcasting across all of the districts, Katniss instead kills the duplicitous President Coin. An angry mob then kills Snow, while Katniss is arrested for her crime. Katniss's powerful allies have her pardoned of Coin's murder, and she returns home to help rebuild District 12. Years later, Katniss and Peeta have gotten married and had children. Though she still battles the trauma of her past, Katniss is optimistic of the future she helped build for her children and all of the people of Pan Am.